Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Butter with another course review from PGA Tour 2K23. Now the course I'm going to be playing today is called Scaraburny Castle, designed by Jimmy New. Now I'm just going to quickly show you the course settings I've gone for. As you can see there's lots of tee options. I've gone for the red tee, 7,491 yards, pin position 1, I've gone for wind speed medium, uh, firmness of the fairways are moderate and the green firmness is moderate as well and I've gone for fast green speeds but everything else I've left on the default. So let's head off to that first tee and we'll get this round underway. Nice use of buildings there. Now I'm really looking forward to this because in real life as a golfer I started my golfing career if you want to call it that on Lynx Golf um, on a course called Newquay Golf Club on the north coast of Cornwall and I absolutely loved it and I still do when I get a chance to play there I still do I think it's a great Lynx course so let's see what we've got here we're opening with a par 5 579 into a breeze Now, interest, interestingly enough, I set the wind speed to medium, and if you notice, that was only six miles per hour. I've played other courses recently, and I've set the wind speed to medium, but they've been in double figures, like 11, 12 miles per hour. I don't quite understand how that works, so if somebody does know, if they wouldn't mind putting that in the comment down below, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, 265, this is reachable, but it's a very small target with that runoff slope down the left. Hitting it uphill as well, it's going to need a really good swing. That's not bad. Don't think it's going to make it though. Oh, that's going to roll off that slope. What a shame. It was a great effort, though. Great effort. Let's see if we can get down in two for an opening birdie. I've got to be careful not to leave this short, otherwise it's going to roll back down to my feet. A fraction too hard went over the hole oh turn oh it did I thought I'd push that one for a minute. So we've opened our birdie account. That's a really nice use of buildings. Look at that. Be a great place to live, wouldn't it? Right next to a golf course. Okay, this is a long par four. Not far short of 500 yards. That's a little bit slow. Could be in trouble. Kick left. Kick left. Oh, it did. Nice bounce. I love the way the fairways are sculpted. I've got a big green here with a lot of slopes. 159. The wind will help ever so slightly. Oh, I've pushed it. 
See by my swing plane. Might be okay though. Stay there. Stay there. There's not much movement here at all. It's the sort of putt that tends to catch me out. I'm going to aim it at the right lip. Yeah, that didn't move much at all. Par 3 at the third, 166. Look at that slope on the front of the green. Anything that comes up short is going to roll all the way back down here. Now this is slightly into the wind as well. I think I might stick with the A time, but I'm going to take some of the loft off. It's looking good. It's looking very good. Oh, delighted. Lovely view across the bay there. It's a short one. Oh, it's into the wind, which is a real shame. I don't think I can carry it all the way to the green. I'm using the factory default balls. I'm not using the sleeves that give me extra distance. So should be able to carry the water, but it's. Uh, I'm probably going to end up in this area of rough here. Let's give it a go. Yeah, it's gone in the rough. That's a shame. If the wind was in the opposite direction, that would be definitely reachable. There's a slope behind the hole there, although it does go to the right as well, so not too bad a lie actually, 91 to 94 percent, so Go on, run out, run out. That's a lovely shot. It's a cracking start to the round. Okay, now we've got another short par four. Longer than the previous one, and I definitely can't reach this. I'm going to hit a three wood off the tee here, I think. Slight breeze off the left. Stay there. That's yeah, in good shape. The ball is well below my feet here. to get down now this looks quite straight I think I'm going to aim this just inside the left lip it's 
There's hardly any movement on this. Yeah, good pat. Four hundred and thirty yard par four. As you can see there, that slope on the fairway is going to take the ball down into the left hand rough. This is going to be a difficult one to hit the fairway. That's going to bounce left when it lands, but the question is how far is it going to go? Actually, that's looking pretty good. That should stay on the fairway. That's a great drive. Delighted with that. 106 yards to go. Could be a bit careful with this one. Oh, I feel it's slow. That's a shame. It's not too bad a result, though. Okay. Par 3 now on the 7th. 195 yards, slightly uphill, and this is a tough par three. Mm. Just take a look at that green. It's a very small target where the pin is positioned. The wind is behind as well. This is a really tough shot. I'm going to maximise my backspin. Can't get too greedy here. Anywhere on the well, I say anywhere on the putting surface. Obviously, you don't want to go right to the back of the green, but somewhere around here or centre of the green would be ideal. Oh, I feel it a bit fast. That It's going to be in trouble. That's going to miss the green on the left. Oh, it's going to go in the rough as well. Oh, no, it hung on to the fairway. That's one consolation. Got a difficult up and down for par now, though. So I'm hitting the ball into an upslope. So that's going to take the sting out of it when it lands. run on a bit more than I would have liked. I should have put some backspin on that. Okay, this is to save par. Yeah, good up and down. That's a great par three. It's not easy. You've really got to work for your par, let alone a birdie. So the eighth hole, par four. Now, I'm hitting it into a slight breeze, so I'm not going to get it onto that second part of the fairway. So what I might do here is lay up. But not with a three wood. I think I'm going to hit the driver, but I'm going to decrease the loft a lot to take the carry off it. Hopefully, it won't run out of fairway. Oh, that could run out of fairway. 
Ah, oh, it's a shame. Maybe I should have gone for it after all. Never mind. Okay, the rough is not too bad. This is 94 to 96%. Got that down slope on the front of the green. And if you go past the hole, as you can see, you're in all sorts of trouble. So ideally, I want to be sort of around, whoops, around that sort of area, not no further than the aim marker, really. So into the breeze. Out of the light rough. Okay, let's go with the... I'm on an upslope as well. Let's go with the pitching wedge. Needs to sit down now. Oh, stop. Oh, no, it's going to go. Oh, what a shame. Oh, I thought I played that quite well, but it's just so difficult to stop it. Coming out of the rough as well. If I was on the fairway, I could have put a lot more backspin on it. 36 yards. Could try a flop, but like I say, if it doesn't, if it doesn't get to that top level, it's going to come all the way back down again. This is this is a tough one. Well, this is so risky; it's unreal. Come back. Come back. Oh, it's stuck there. I thought it might roll back a little bit. Now, this is to save par. These are fast greens, so I've got to be careful. Two foot down. Uh, sorry, two inches down. Oh, go on, go on. Oh, wow, what a putt. What a putt to save par. Okay. 600 yard par 5. This will be a three-shotter for sure. Not a great bounce, but oh, it stopped on the fairway. I was a bit worried there for a second. 274 yards. Severe slope at the front of that green. Oh, I've hit it a fraction slow, that's a shame. Where's that going to end up? I don't think it's going to make it onto the... Oh, get up! Get up! Oh, so close. Okay, basically, don't leave this one short. Try and keep it well right of the hole as well. That is such a severe slope. Slow down. That ran further than I would have liked. Ooh. 
Not a great swing. It's cost me a birdie, that one. That's a shame. That was a really good opportunity for birdie. Okay, so we've got another par 5 here at the 10th. 605 yards. It's quite a tricky drive because with the wind behind us, well, we're going to be hitting into that narrow part of the fairway. That's not a pretty swing, but it should... Oh, what a bounce. I was just about to say it should work out fine. It took a bounce to the right. Might be worth laying up down there. It's a horrible lie coming out of the sand. Seventy-two uphill though, so it's going to be playing approximately 79 yards. Look at that slope, wow. Again, it's another shot where you can't get too greedy. Bite, bite. And this could be absolutely dead straight. Just needs a good swing. Yeah, that's a great birdie. After hitting the bunker off the tee. This is a cracking course, I'm loving it. Really nice. It's challenging, but fair. I think the next time I play this course, I'm going to put the winds up quite a bit higher. Uh, we've got 124, slightly downhill, probably playing about 119-ish. What have I got that'll do that? Now then I could try the gap wedge and increase the loft. And the spin a little bit. It's going to be difficult to get this close. Ah, it's gone to the right. That's not in bad shape though. Uphill putt. A bit of swing at the end of the putt from right to left. Oh, I didn't hit it hard enough. Uh, that was poor. It's a par though, happy with that. It's not an easy par three with that green. There you can see the slope there on the left hand side of that fairway. So that's my target really. And then it'll roll around to the right hand side. Good swing. Hundred and twenty five to go. Another small target. Slightly uphill. It's going to be playing about one, two, seven. Let's try let's try that. I'm not sure it's gonna quite reach, but we'll try it. Mm. 
No, I've hit it slow. Uh, distance wasn't bad. Timing was just slightly off. There's not too much movement in this. Four fifty four. Looks like another sloping fairway. Yes, it is. Well, I'm going to try here. I'm going to try a little bit of draw. As you can see there on the right hand side, to try and draw the ball into that slope. To try and keep it up onto the fairway. Oh, I've hit it slow again. I think it's going to be okay though. Yep. Wow, down that is a very small target. Slightly uphill, so it's going to be playing about 150. And then we've got the wind as well. Wow, that is a difficult, difficult green. Ball is below my feet as well. This is a tough shot. Well, I am over the moon with that one. Absolutely over the moon. This is a cracking course. Now that's a tough drive because we're going to be hitting into this very narrow part of the fairway. Into a slight breeze as well. Oh, that needs to kick left. Bounce left. Ah, oh, it stayed there. Oh, what a shame. A little bounce to the left would have come in really handy there. Hmm, 89 to 91%. It's going to be playing about 174. I'm on a bit of a downslope, so they do tend to shoot a little bit off a downslope. Let's try the 7 iron. This is going to have to be really well struck. Oh, I pulled it. Ah, oh, and it's short as well. Ah, oh, I should have. I should have hit an extra club there. It's my fault. Silly mistake to make that was. And now I'm really struggling. Oh, it needs to sit. Oh, I've made a mess of that. Well, that's the worst shot I've hit for the entire round. That was awful. Oh, my goodness me. I've got to be careful here not to drop more than one shot. It's tracking well. Oh my goodness me, I've parred it. <laughs> wow. 
not exactly a regulation par, but I'll take it. It goes down on the card as a par four. Right, now we've got a par five here, 518. This is reachable if I can get a good drive away. It's a nice swing. Needs a kind bounce. And it got one. 100 and, about 190 yards to go. But a small target. Six iron. Ball below my feet again. Looking good. Needs to bite hard though. Hit the flag. Oh, is it going to end up just on the fringe? I've got to be careful here because the last chip I played was terrible. I was really nervous about that one. Now we've got a drivable par four. behind I'm just wondering if it might be worth hitting quite a big fade into this one oh it's not coming back enough I've pulled it ah what a shame oh that's stopped on the down slope it's a terrible lie as well. Not keen on this shot one little bit. Oh no, too hard. Okay, still got a chance of a birdie though, so not all bad. Tiny little bit of left or right on this. Oh, just, just managed to hang on to that right hand side. Thirty, slightly down the hills, one three seven. Slight breeze behind as well. Oh, I've hit it fast. That's a shame. Was that going to end up? That's going to run all the way down there. I'm making this difficult for myself. I can land it just on the top of that upslope. It'll take the sting out of it. And then hopefully just roll up to the whole side. Oh, not quite hard enough. Oh no. Oh no, stop. Oh, it did. Oh, 
That's a great putt to save par. So one hole left to play, the 18th, par four. 451 yards back into the breeze. Do with the bounce left. Oh, it didn't. Oh, that's going to make it tougher. Another look at the slope on that. I'm going to club up this time. I'm going to go to a seven. Depends on the bounce. Yeah, I'll take that coming out of the rough. I'll be quite happy with two putts from here. I haven't hit that hard enough. Not by a long shot. Idiot. Never mind. It's a solid par. Well, that course is brilliant. I loved it. It's one of the best Lynx courses I've played in a while. Really well laid out. A lot of attention to detail. I love the use of the buildings. Gives, that, gives it that kind of British town coastal town feel to it really really nice and many congratulations to jimmy new the course designer so that's scaraburney castle i hope i pronounced that correctly definitely worth a look so check that one out if you haven't already played it well thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit that like button down below and please subscribe to my youtube channel i would really really appreciate it well take care everyone and i will see you again soon bye bye now